Let's go, YouTube. Once again, the media, the boxing world, the clinics are all caught up on what the fuck is going on outside the ring. Floyd and his beef. He beefing with 50 right now. You see Twitter? I don't have a Twitter account because it's all media hype. I'm a grown-ass man. What I look like following another grown-ass man around? The fuck out of here. I got a Facebook. I got my YouTube page. I'm good. I don't need no Twitter account. Niggas ain't saying shit different from Twitter that they saying on Facebook, so it don't even matter. But whatever. Y'all motherfuckers can continue to talk about what's going on outside the ring. This video is for all the fans who wants to know what's going to be going on inside the ring. I want to talk about this motherfucking Cotto versus Trout shit. Um, first, let's dissect Miguel Cotto. We all know Cotto had his controversy win, um, you know, over Cloudy, if we're going back that far. A lot of people felt Cloudy won. I felt Cotto won. To be honest, I felt Cloudy let off the gas toward the later rounds. Um, you know, Cloudy was a good contender. I don't know why he even left the 147 division. He was a, he's a real good contender. But um, whatever. That shows you where boxing is. Let me get my little three million, maybe a million. <laughs> they could have paid Cloudy, and that nigga split town. But, um, you know, Cotto beat him. Cotto, in my eyes, he was undefeated when he faced Floyd. Because, you know, we assume Pacquiao is fucking juicing. I don't give a fuck what you don't say, man. Everybody's taking a test. Why can't this motherfucker do it? Um, Pacquiao was juicing when he faced fucking Cotto. And we all know that Margarito had the fucking plastic in his gloves. You know? If you look at that fight, if you look at the Cotto and Margarito first fight, you'll see Margarito, like, nod to somebody in the crowd saying... Yeah, this shit is this shit is hurting him. When Cotto couldn't, when Cotto went down on one knee, he was like, "Yeah, this shit is hurting." And Cotto, as far as mental game is concerned, like you got the crowd going crazy, but you got Cotto actually sitting there thinking, like, "I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong." You know what I mean? But you weren't doing anything wrong, Cotto. This motherfucker was cheating. And then niggas want to come back and have this nigga come back into the sport and fight it. Nah, fuck out of here, man. I can't believe y'all y'all just let that shit blow over, but y'all want to talk about all the fucking money Floyd don't have and his taxes and shit. But whatever. Um, so what I was saying was that, you know, I felt Cotto was undefeated. Even though I felt Cotto was undefeated, excuse me, Floyd said that Cotto was undefeated because I don't give you props if you lose the two cheaters. If I see an automatic win in my eyes, it's an automatic win. That's all there is to it. Darrell beat Frotch. I don't need to see that shit again. I know who won. Y'all can praise Frotch all y'all want, y'all fucking yes men. But the true boxing fans know. And there are some boxing fans who are still in denial about that fight. Darrell beat motherfucking... Frats, man. I'm tired of niggas just talking like this nigga just ain't do shit. No, Darrell's not the greatest on the inside game. I don't think Roger or Sing or Mayweather Senior, excuse me, is better than Roger Mayweather. If anything, he needs to be training with Roger, not not Senior. <laughs> Who's the last dude Senior has actually bought up to become a superstar? You know. Yes, you taught Floyd the fundamentals, the beginning of it, and you said put in some defense. But Roger's the one that fucking steers that motherfucking boat. Nigga, what was you talking about? He was, when you, you had him since he was a daddy, since you was, you know what I mean, you, he was a baby. I'm his daddy, man. That's true. But, nigga, you ain't keep it going. You went to jail, nigga. You had to go to jail. For, if you trained him, Floyd might have lost. Hey, I'm just speaking the truth, man. But let's not get over it. Even though I felt Cotto was undefeated, he might not have felt that he was undefeated, you know? Because he was in them wars. He probably felt like, you know, damn, these niggas put it on me, you know? So people were putting a loss for Margarito, putting a loss for 
Packroyd, and put in a loss for, you know, Floyd himself because he lost to Floyd. So I think I want to say Dante said this. No, 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 no. Excuse me. It was um, Boxing Beats and Rhymes, I think it was. Um, excuse me if I said your name wrong, brother. But he was basically saying how if Cotto beats Trout, he's just going to be avenging his Mayweather loss. And I think that's incorrect, you know. We agree to disagree. I think that's incorrect. I believe that if Cotto beats Trout, man, I don't know about y'all list, but on my list, this motherfucker goes up a couple notches. Trout is not a walkover. Everybody's already predicting. We like a lot of the fans are are just wondering why Cotto took the fight in the first place. You know, because a lot of people are predicting that Trout is gonna walk right through him. But a lot of people predicted Floyd was gonna walk right through Cotto, and that wasn't the case. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was the ninth round. Cotto turned around and jogged back to his corner. Something that Floyd would have done back in the day. I was like, this nigga with his pink socks, okay? This nigga hype. You get a second win, just like Andre Ward said. He's like, yo, you getting your second win? Ward was like, yep, I'm getting my second win about now, you know? And then that's where it just kicks in the overdrive. So, um, you know, I don't. I, as far as Cotto winning this fight, I mean, shit, if you seen Austin Trout fight, man, you would say that Trout's going to win, too. Trout is like a Lara, in my opinion. Trout will, he's a little sneaky at times, but he'll let his hands go, you know, more than Laura will. Like, shout out to Trout, man. When I watch this nigga fight, how would he fight? Alexander, some shit like that, that nigga fought. Um, he was just letting his his right, his main power hand just leave, you know. And for Cotto not to really, Cotto has to set up to throw his punches, you know. He doesn't have a crisp jab that he's going to need in this fight that Trout can, that Trout obtains. But I definitely feel that, you know, Trout, Trout, as far as athleticism, as far as a pure boxer, as far as who is just better on paper, then it's Trout. The only reason why I give Cotto a little bit of leg room is because he showed up different in the in the Mayweather fight, you know. Straight up, we all a lot of the world thought that Floyd was gonna walk. We were thinking another Gotti, but Cotto ain't no fucking Gotti. Shout out to Cotto, man. Trout is a beast though. Trout lets his hands go, you guys. You know. You could say a boxing clinic, but Trout also doesn't like to get hit. So, you know, it goes certain ways. It's sort of like cat and mouse, sort of, I'm guessing. But um, I believe Cotto's going to get in some shots. It's just Cotto hasn't really knocked out a dude. I remember my order, but Cotto hasn't knocked out a dude for, or knocked down a dude in a while. You're, you're reforming. You got to give him credit. That was an undefeated dude. We haven't heard from that motherfucker since. Remember, his leg just gave out. That shit was crazy. Cotto knocked him. Um, who else? You know, Cotto doesn't have that many knockdowns, what I'm saying, just to be all of a sudden he's going to be knocking down someone who is actually skilled, you know, and not getting knocked down. Duke is undefeated, you know. You could say Cotto has lost one fight. You can say he's undefeated. You can say you can't say he's undefeated. He definitely lost to Floyd. You can say he lost one fight. But in the same sense, you know, I think mentally prepared, Trout is more of a mentally stable mind to say, I'm still undefeated, I'm still the best, I'm the best in the world, you know, than what Cotto can say. But that's all I'm going to speak on it. If I had to put in my picks, I got, honestly, I got Trout, Cotto being stopped. I got Trout. I mean, as much as I want Cotto to win this, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I got Trout winning probably, you know, 10th round. 
tenth, eleventh round knockout. I don't think it's going to go the distance, man. I don't. You know, this is not Floyd. Floyd is not as big as Trout. Trout's a big ass dude. Trout can hit hard as shit, and he will let them hands go. Shout outs to that nigga. Uh, but I got Trout probably the eleventh round, man. I'm gonna say stoppage. Yeah, I'm gonna think he's gonna stop. He's gonna stop Cotto. But I would not be surprised if it goes the distance because of, you know, because of how mentally tough Cotto is. You know, you can still be mentally tough and not and still not be all there mentally. For all y'all that know what I'm talking about. But I'm out, man. That's my two cents.